The horror begins before dawn. Emergency calls to the RCMP coming from James Smith Cree Nation. Reports of multiple stabbings in multiple locations. About two hours later, just before 8 a.m., Damian Sanderson and Miles Sanderson, later confirmed to be brothers, are identified as suspects. A dangerous persons alert is issued for all of Saskatchewan as the RCMP notifies the public of another deadly attack, this one in Weldon, a nearby village. Residents across this stretch of rural Saskatchewan left terrified. I woke up like... That could have been me. The Saskatchewan Health Authority issues a code orange as emergency crews scramble to save lives. The most seriously injured airlifted to Saskatoon. Multiple patients were also taken uh, from the scene to hospitals in Prince Albert, Nipawin and Melfort by ground ambulance. By late morning, the dangerous persons alert is extended across the prairies to Alberta and Manitoba. As the RCMP say the men may have been spotted in Regina in a black SUV, more than three and a half hours away from Weldon and James Smith Cree Nation. They are considered armed and dangerous. In a late afternoon press conference, the scope of the tragedy is made painfully clear. Ten people, police said, dead. A gruesome rampage at 13 different crime scenes. If you see the suspects, and or their vehicle, do not approach them or the vehicle. Immediately leave the area and call 911. 24 hours later, the RCMP announced Damien Sanderson is dead. His body found on James Smith Cree Nation where the attacks began. We can confirm he has visible injuries. These injuries are not believed to be self-inflicted at this point. Miles Sanderson, who police say could be injured, remains at large. We need to start the healing process, and until we can make this arrest, that isn't going to happen. As the search continues, the grief for so many is only just beginning. Daryl Burns lost his sister, Gloria. My sister was very caring person. She devoted, she devoted her life to helping people. Ah. Police say their investigation will be lengthy, with so many lives stolen. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.